I've done 750 miles of river travel in uh, 40 days. Once I get to the Mississippi, I'm going to have 240 miles still of river travel. 230, 240, 250. I'm probably underestimating it. 250, almost as much as I did the last time I was on the Mississippi. The last trip I did, I only did 300 miles. I've got that much almost facing me on the Mississippi when I get there. It's tripping me out. Yeah, oh, I've done over a thousand miles. Yeah, Carruthersville's it. I'm, I'll, if I make it there, once I get there, I'm gonna have to figure out something. <clears throat> Rent a storage space, get somebody to give me a ride to where I need to go, or drag the damn kayak there, or abandon the kayak, or sell the kayak, something. It's just a tool. I'd like to keep it. I'd like to get it to my mom's place and have her friend pick it up, store it at her house, or something, or some one of my family members. I have other family there. That'd be nice because I could reassess, you know, because right now, as of right now, thinking about doing another kayak trip down a river, I never want to do this again. I don't. <laughs> I don't. But I was thinking the same thing the last time I did. I was like, this is the last one I'm ever going to do. And then after a while, I was like, yeah, I'd like to try another one. Because I, I don't know, I just felt as if I'd failed. <sighs> well, it's going to be truth or consequences when I get to that damn Mississippi. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get across the river. I'm going to get to the canal. I'm going to negotiate the canal. And I'm going to get through the lock. That's all there is to it. And then I'll get to Chester. And Chester will be the last spot where I'm taking a chance on losing the kayak. Or getting it something tampered with or something. Because I'm just going to leave it there on the boat ramp and run into town. It's probably a horrible place, probably a horrible place to do it, too. But anyway.